Ever wondered what your dog is thinking when it gazes at the TV? Seemingly fascinated by the news at 10. Scientists have discovered that your pooch probably isn't focused on Hugh Edwards specifically. But more what the people on screen are doing. Study dogs at Emory University in Georgia, USA had their brains scanned by an MRI machine while watching a half-hour video of stimulating content. This included clips of dogs running around, humans interacting with each other, vehicles passing by, and a cat in a house. Data from the MRI was fed into an artificial intelligence, AI, called Evis, which correlated brain activity with whether an action or object was shown on screen. Results showed that dogs are vastly more visually attuned to actions in their environment rather than who or what is performing those actions. Neuroscientist Erin Phillips said, While our work is based on just two dogs it offers proof of concept that these methods work on canines. I hope this paper helps pave the way for other researchers to apply these methods on dogs, as well as on other species. So we can get more data and bigger insights into how the minds of different animals work. Dogs possess only two types of cone cells in their eyes and can only perceive the colors blue and yellow. This is vastly different to humans, who have three types of cone cells and can visualize the whole color spectrum. However, scientists believe dogs could visually perceive the world differently to humans in these ways because they need to be more aware of threats in their environment. Canines also have a higher density of motion-sensitive vision receptors than us. It could also be because they are more reliant on their other senses as, while humans are every visually oriented, dogs' olfactory senses are much more powerful. The researchers at the Canine Cognitive Neuroscience Lab wanted to discover if there were any other differences between how canine and human minds reconstruct what they see. They recruited Bubo, a four-year-old male boxer mix, and Daisy, an 11-year-old female Boston Terrier mix, to participate in a study. Both pooches had been trained to enter and lie inside an fMRI machine completely unrestrained, so were they able to have their brains scanned while awake and alert. They didn't even need treats, said Ms. Phillips. For the study, Daisy and Bubo were each shown specially designed movies and three 30-minute sessions for a total of 90 minutes while relaxing in the fMRI machine. The movies contained video clips that the researchers thought a dog might find interesting enough to watch for an extended period. They were filmed by the researchers using a gimbal, a pivoting camera support, and a selfie stick to allow them to shot footage from a dog's perspective. The clips showed dogs running around and humans interacting with dogs, giving them pets or treats, or waving a toy towards the camera itself. Other activities included vehicles passing by, humans hugging or eating, a deer crossing a path, a cat in a house, and dogs walking on leashes. As the dogs watched their movies, an MRI scan was taken of their brains that visualized neural activity. Ms. Phillips said, It was amusing because it's serious science, and a lot of time and effort went into it. But it came down to these dogs watching videos of other dogs and humans acting kind of silly. For comparison, Two humans were also shown the videos while lying in the fMRI machine and undergoing a scan.